Aristotle Onassis, a name that echoed across the seas and the halls of wealth and power. Born on January 15, 1906, in Smyrna, Turkey, his early life was marked by privilege and opportunity. However, everything changed in 1922 when the Greco-Turkish War led to the destruction of Smyrna. The chaos and devastation forced Winnesis and his family to flee their homeland, leaving behind their wealth and comfort. At just 12 years old, he found himself in Athens, Greece, facing a new and uncertain life. In Athens, Onassis displayed an early entrepreneurial spirit. His family struggled to make ends meet, and he took on various jobs to support them. He sold tobacco and worked as a messenger boy, but despite all these challenges, he managed to continue his education, eventually enrolling in the University of Athens to study law. However, his interest in law soon waned as he realized his true passion lay in the world of shipping and trade. In 1923, Onassis made a decision to move to Buenos Aires, Argentina, where he sought new opportunities. With only a few dollars to his name, he took a job with a local tobacco company, but his ambitions quickly pushed him to shift his focus to shipping. Recognizing the potential in the maritime industry, Onassis borrowed money from a family friend and purchased his first ship, a modest vessel that would serve as the foundation for his future empire. During the late 1920s and early 1930s, his business acumen began to shine. He navigated the competitive shipping market with a combination of ingenuity and boldness. He became known for his ability to secure lucrative contracts and partnerships. His big break came when he capitalized on the growing demand for oil transport during World War II, expanding his fleet to include tankers and cargo ships. By the end of the war, Onassis had transformed himself from a struggling immigrant into a wealthy businessman. Onassis's success in shipping was not just about business, it was also about his unique approach to life. He was known for his flair and charisma, which endeared him to influential figures around the world. He mingled with politicians, celebrities, and business magnates, establishing a reputation as a socialite who enjoyed the finer things in life. His lavish lifestyle included ownership of luxurious yachts and stunning properties in some of the world's most exclusive locations. One of his most famous yachts, the Christina, was an opulent vessel which hosted lavish parties and served as a retreat for himself and his guests. The yacht became a floating palace, adorned with luxury and elegance, embodying Onassis's larger-than-life persona. The Christina was also where he entertained notable figures too, from Hollywood stars to political leaders, solidifying his place in elite circles. Onassis's personal life was equally captivating. In 1946, he married Athena Livanos, a beautiful and socially connected Greek socialite. Together, they had two children, Alexander and Christina. However, the marriage was fraught with challenges and Onassis's notorious infidelity strained their relationship. The couple eventually divorced in 1960, but they remained committed to co-parenting their children. Following his divorce, Onassis entered a high-profile romance with the renowned opera singer Maria Callas. Their passionate and tumultuous relationship captured the public's imagination and became the subject of numerous tabloid headlines. Callas was a dramatic figure in her own right, and their affair was filled with romance, drama, and heartbreak. But despite their intense love for one another, their relationship was cut short as well, with the facts being Onassis was just not satisfied with himself and wanted more social status, and also, Callus' struggle with personal demons. The end of their affair left both of them devastated, but Onassis moved on quickly. In 1968, Onassis's life took another dramatic turn when he married Jacqueline Kennedy, the widow of the United States, President John F. Kennedy. The marriage was a grand affair, drawing attention from around the globe. Jacqueline, known for her grace and elegance, brought a new level of glamour to Onassis's life. They traveled the world together, attending high-profile events and mingling with influential figures. The couple seemed to embody the pinnacle of sophistication and success. 
However, the couple's life together was not without its challenges. When Assis's health began to decline, and he struggled with various ailments, including myasthenia gravis, a chronic autoimmune disease that affected his muscle strength. Despite these challenges, Jacqueline remained by his side, providing support during difficult times. But then, tragedy struck in 1973 when Onesis's only son, Alexander, died in a plane crash. This loss shattered Onesis and marked a turning point in his life. He had invested much hope and ambition in his son, and Alexander's untimely death left a void that could not be filled. When Assis's health worsened after this devastating event, and he became increasingly reclusive, he eventually passed away on March 15, 1975, from respiratory failure related to his ongoing health issues. His death marked the end of an era, but his legacy continued to live on. He left behind a fortune estimated at over $500 million, along with a reputation as one of the most influential figures in shipping history. His story continues to inspire those who dare to dream big and navigate the challenges of life with courage and, of course, determination. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with others.